I don't normally do back-to-back -back videos on the same piece of water but there was a minor difference between what I did last week and what I did this week. Last week's video can be seen here and in the description. See if you can pick out that difference before I get down to it. on the surface of the water I'm gonna have to kind of stick to the big TRD today slightly heavier bait will uh, still sink if the, if the line gets caught behind a couple of leaves there we go business. There we go. First smallie of the day. Very pretty. Sweet. Let's back off of this. I have a feeling that this is going to be fairly productive in here if I can overcome the leaf situation. <laughs> Carp are going to start to get pretty active pretty soon, and I seriously wouldn't mind getting into a couple of those, either this late fall or early winter. I kind of wonder how active the carp are, whether they will actually hit the TRD. As as you can see from this video, they definitely will. And I believe that was in about 45 degrees of water. All right, switched over to the Finesse TRD just because there's a bit of a shelf right up here where the uh, water depth drops pretty quickly. There's a ton of rocks involved in that transition. It's a good place to get hung up. But there tend to be a few fish like sitting right at the bottom of that shelf. And the last thing you want to do is get hung up and have to go retrieve a bait. It's a smallie, it's a small smallie, but a smallie nonetheless. Little guy, thank you. Get that going, there should be a couple more on that shelf. a much better fish. Uh, it sucks. That was a much better fish. Mm -mm -mm -mm. There we go.
Not bad, not bad. Nice. Yeah. There we go. Sweet, man. Doing all right today. Honestly, I'm doing a little bit better than I expected. bass. Alright, got a three species day going. Not trying to brain you. There we go. Cool. It's pretty much average size rock bass in here. Once again, I'm cross current. Leaves are coming down, so occasionally I'm just kind of lifting and mending the line. Make sure I don't get too many leaves caught up on it. And there's a fish. Shit. Damn, got tapped there. So what really sucks about cross current when there's this much tree litter heading down. Oh man, oh that sucks. That was a that was a nice fish. I jumped the gun there. Is that it gets caught up in the line. And then it drags it down and the line just picks up on any freaking thing that it possibly can. <laughs> That's the one thing that super, super blows about these conditions. Dude. I'm getting hit like crazy though. Let's see if we can just get the proper angle on a couple of fish. Should be good. So the hope is See, we're, we're kind of done with this. Um, after today, because uh, today is going to get pretty windy, a vast majority of this uh, yellow and red stuff is going to end up in the river. And as you can see in this stretch, it just doesn't go anywhere very fast. And it's going to be clogged up with leaves for, well, basically until a good rain comes and flushes everything out. Jeez, that was a nice cast. There are a bunch of big fall fish down there. Be nice to get into one of those today. Oh, we got something here. We got something. It's no slouch either. Yeah, nice. 
this is no slouch. Folks, this is turning into a pretty good day. Look at that. Oh, beauty. I'd say a 14 and a half or so. Absolutely gorgeous fish. Mm. Love it, love it, love it. Gorgeous. Hell yeah. No problem with that. No problem at all. We might do a nice special carp fishing trip out here, Gary and I. There we go. Man, jeez, that's a good small one. Maybe. Feels like a good one. What is this? That's a largey. Oh man, get too many of those out here. Nice. Wow. Four species it is, folks. Oh my goodness. This for the Monocacy River. This is a bucket mouth. Nice. That's gorgeous. Sweet man. Oh, four species day. Woo! Oh man, you can't beat this with a stick. Man, that was an aggressive hit. You know, when I was in here last week, had the same water temperature. And the water's down, I don't know, the water level's down like maybe three or four inches. Really not all that significant. The big difference today is the cloud cover. And even though it's more difficult with the, <laughs> with the leaves, it's, uh, this is going pretty well. I'm shooting over in carp territory over here. So there's one right there. It's probably about a 12, 14 pound carp. I don't think they're going to be super, super hyped on this quite yet, but last year, or actually it was the year before, I mean, Gary and I, consecutive trips locked into massive, massive carp on on TRDs. And they're a little bit more uh, aggressive as the water temperature goes down a little bit. All over the place. Look at that. Oh my god, they're all over the place. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to have... Oh my god, there goes about a 20. There's about a 30, maybe about a 30 pounder. I doubt the camera caught that. A little off kilter from that stuff. But at any rate, that hole is full of those guys, so it's not gonna be, in my experience, generally speaking, smallies don't wanna share the same space with carp. You see a bunch of carp you're probably not gonna smally up like crazy let's see that I go into slightly more shallow water and we're in not bad not bad come on come on baby Oh, 
pretty decent fish. So you threw one into slightly more shallow water. Bang. About, say 14 and a half, 15. Yeah. Yeah, 14, 14 and a half. Beautiful. I tell you, tearing it up today. Tearing it up. Loving the waders. This is a good day. <laughs> they're, they're sitting on this transition between. So right below me is about five feet of water. All right. Ooh. Uh, I had a fish unsnag me. Anyway, there's a massive transition here. Five, four, three, two, really, really quickly. Probably just the length of this kayak. And it appears that that's where they are. Whereas the carp, and probably cats, are sitting in the deeper portion of this hole. Just gonna keep this going for a little bit. Another one? Yep. Boom. Tell you, they're right in that transition. Oh, this is something. I don't know what this. Oh yeah. Jeez, man. This is awesome. What a day. Oh, what a day. Right in that transition. Sweet. Just popping the crap out of them.